go by the name of Kizzy, and I am an extreme cyclist. Chest, bro. Put that chest, put them hairs away, mate. <laughs> bro, look at this. It's funny because I was in a bike shop in Peckham, and this guy was in the bike shop, and he told me that he could wheelie for as long as he like for as long as I told him to. He said he could wheelie, so he went outside the shop and showed me a wheelie, and ever since then I was like, yeah. <laughs> It's just that feeling of being on my back, like, I, don't, I just feel free, like, I don't have no stresses going through my head, I have no negative thoughts, and you just think about positive things, man, I'm just on my back, I just don't think about nothing. I grew up in South East London, in an area called Dulwich. And, um, yeah, you could say I was introduced to riding from Dulwich because I used to basically use my bike to get away from that troubles in the area and when I was stressed out and, yeah, I used to go out on my bike all the time. Yeah? And again? Right now? Oh, yeah! Why is it always the last ones and the ones you don't think you're going to land? And then you bang two of them. Yeah, that did that. This guy. Yeah, that did that though. I was always interested in anything with wheels, like anything to do with bikes, cars. I was always interested in, and bikes was like Ooh. one of the first things that I could get interested in because I couldn't drive a car at a young age. I couldn't ride a motorbike at a young age, so I rode a pedal bike a lot. This, this lift's so easy. Took me about 12, roughly about 12 months to learn how to wheelie. Like, you just need to learn the basics on how to keep the wheel up and basically not drop the wheel. So yeah, it took me about 12 months to have everything on the smash. <laughs> You can either have a smaller one, bigger one, long one, or a that, or you can have a long one. You could literally, it don't matter who you are, you could be black, white, blue, red, you could be fat, you could be skinny, you could have one arm, you could have one leg, it, it honestly doesn't matter. Like, you could, as long as you pick up a bike and have that determination to ride and want to achieve things, then yeah, it doesn't matter who you are. <laughs> you got the other side up. I can see why it looks like we're being antisocial and yeah, when you see like fifteen kids coming down the road on, on their back wheels just moving mad in and out of the roads like it can look mad but then when you if you know us and you understand what we do and why we do it, you'd see all the positives and not the negatives. Um, well, right now I'm sort of um, on the setup of making my own website, so that's getting sorted out. And yeah, I just want to make my own brand and my own business and just move on my own two feet instead of working on somebody else's wing. If you struggle to like mingle with people, or struggle to find new friends, like if you ride a bike 100%, you are definitely going to make new friends because, like I said, a lot of people that I've met are free riding bikes and I'm close with a lot of people that I've met free riding bikes right now so yeah it's not just riding bikes and keeping fit like you, you meet friends you meet friends that you're gonna know for the rest of your life and yeah man. My name is Kane Broadhurst I go by the name of Kizzy and I am an extreme cyclist.